Thank you for all of those that have been staying on that side. They don't deserve to show up for the next four years. So, hope you got that for you guys. I all right guys this is the last video of the meltdown of the elections of 2024 when the liberals found out that they had tds when they heard donald trump's name being called as the 47th president of the united states <laughs> now listen one thing i've realized or a couple things after watching all these videos today is that these people really need help man and honestly, I look at a lot of them and I blame the mainstream media. I don't blame these people for being programmed. I blame the media for not being held accountable for the lies that they spew. And look what they did. A prime example, look at Kamala Harris. She waited, what, 24 hours to address her people instead of doing it right away? <laughs> she turned her back on them. And that's what they're going to do. That's what the media does. That's what all these fake people do. They turn their back on you when you need them the most. But Trump supporters and people that just love America won't. So watch this video. And if you know anybody suffering from huh, Trump derangement syndrome, try to get them help immediately. Stay highly positive. Like this video. Hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching The Off Topic Show. I am so frustrated! Ah, what the fuck? Ah, bitch! You fuck! What the hell? Ah, 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 ah. <sighs> Not okay. This, 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 this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking. This is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they's wrong. And you're wrong. And everything is wrong. And this house is not even my house. You just bought it for me, and I don't want it. What is wrong with you? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What has happened to democracy? What has happened to freedom? I'm done. I'm, I'm... This is a message to anyone who follows me. If you voted for Trump, unfollow me and block me. If you didn't vote, unfollow me and block me. The fact that it's this close means I've lost all hope in the American people. Like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I, Kamala's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy fascist, dictator, psycho. I just texted my best friend. My best friend of 14 years. Literally half of my life. I'm 28. And I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend?
half of my life. This person is my best friend. Forgive me for being a little emotional here, but what the fuck is going on? People in the future are gonna look back at this time and they're gonna be like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Because we were progressing when Obama got elected. I really feel like we were, we were progressing. We were going in the right motherfucking direction. But then Trump comes in and he gives a voice to the voiceless. He gives a voice to the criminals, to the racists, to the white motherfuckers who want to be back on top. I don't want to touch another man with a 10 foot motherfucking pole. Ladies, where are we going? Farby movement for real. Fuck men. Fuck all of you. And fuck you ugly dumb bitches who voted for him too. You guys are a piece of shit. You guys have internalized fucking misogyny and you're dumb you're stupid oh and all the climate change shit going out the motherfucking window because it's a hoax bro we're cooked we're cooked this is our last motherfucking year on this goddamn planet and to be able to appoint three more fucking supreme court justices or whatever the fuck he's he's able to get more motherfuckers that believe the same beliefs that he believes into office and i guess that's what you guys want that's what you guys want you guys want to be radical christians you guys are jesus christ right <laughs> I said that I would be leaving Twitter within the next 24 hours, but I, I'm, I'm leaving. I, I can't say anymore. There's no more to say. There's nothing else to say. We lost both houses and the White House and America. Do you know how many people he's going to pardon now? It's just, it, there's no stopping him. There's no stopping him. And frankly, I'm afraid to stay here. I'm almost 80 years old. I've been fighting since 2017. For what? I actually thought people with live, active brain cells would win. Women would win. And we lost. We lost to the dumb fucks. I love every one of you out there. You've been part of my life. And I'm going to miss it. And you take care of yourselves, all of you. Sleep plant, I believe. <laughs> but about to get wet. <laughs> I was just walking down the street to go and get my medication because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> and I saw a woman walking her two kids and she had this look on her face. And I looked at her, we made eye contact, we both kind of nodded. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> just devastated. And you could just tell in her, in her eyes. <laughs> I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> so, the dream's not dead, uh, but it is postponed, and it is harmed. But, regardless of that, um, you know, it is important not to cope. America, how could you do this to us again? What the fuck? How are we supposed to live another four years like this? What the hell? What did you do to us? I didn't mean it, Trump. If you come back, I'll never be a pain in the butt again. I love you, Trump. Please come back.
Well, that didn't go the way we had hoped. Not at all. Or expected. Yeah, I mean, for him to win the popular vote? Are you kidding me? I did not know our country was that full of racist bastards. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to be an all-out war on the LGBTQ+, plus, on, women. Our, on women, on people of any color other than Blanco, <laughs> or Blanca, or whatever. Um, no, they don't care about the Blanca. It's just the Blanco. Yeah, so... Uh, Better go out there and get you a Bible, because you're going to be needing that shit now. Oh, no, we, uh, you know, if they follow the Handmaid's Tale, we can't read. Oh, that's right. That is true. I'm too old to, I can't be a handmaid. Um, I would probably get stuck being a Martha. Um, actually, no, I'd be on the wall, because I ain't going, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'll be on the wall. Um, I, I am... So very saddened for our country. Yes. And what that orange Donny Two Scoop baboon ass has done to our country with the division, the open racist, hateful comments, and just giving permission for them to be jackasses and flannel wearing, mouth breathing, baboon, mindless assholes. I'm sorry, I'm a little okay. heated. Yes, yes. So today. I, I've decided that today I am sad and tomorrow I am going to find how do we stop him from doing the things that the Heritage Foundation wants to I do. I know a way to stop him, but, <laughs> but you're going to have to get both of those. Just saying. Hmm. Quietly under my breath. <laughs> yes. No. It might be a wait and see kind of thing for a minute, but I guarantee you there's people that are out there ready to fight. The whole world rights. is looking at America going, what the fuck? I yeah. didn't... I, he's made a laughing stock of us. And, and all you MAGAs, one day you're going to regret what you've done. Because it's going to come home to you as well. Yes. And fuck you when it does. Drink coffee. I'm going to try to explain this without crying. But you guys just don't get it. And you have the privilege of not getting it. And that's great for you. I'm so happy for you. But I'm going to... This isn't necessarily about Trump. It has to do with everything. Republicans, Republicans have basically taken over everything at this point. There's no one to keep them in check and people aren't seeming to get that. There's a ton of anti-LGBT bills up to be voted on and there's no one in there to protect our rights. I could lose my marriage, I could lose my kids, I could lose my livelihood, I could lose literally everything <laughs> because I'm in a queer family and you guys don't get that. We don't know the future. And at least having a Democratic president, there is someone there to keep them in check. It has nothing to do with not wanting Trump to be president. I mean, I hate the motherfucker, but he's fucking stupid. I don't care if he's president. It's the other people he fucking put in office that I'm terrified of. And he's in there, and they're using him for whatever the fuck they want to use him for. You guys don't get it because you have the privilege... Of not getting it. I don't give a fuck if the economy was better for you years ago. Number one, there was COVID. And all of Trump's problems trickled into Biden. I don't care about Trump. I hate him, but I don't care about him. I could give less of a fuck about Trump. But you guys aren't getting it. And I'm stressed the fuck out. You aren't getting it. And like... I don't know how to explain it to you. It's not necessarily what's happening right now. It's what could happen in the future that I'm terrified of. I'm terrified for myself. <laughs> I'm terrified for my husband. I'm terrified for my friends. And I'm terrified for my family. And if you don't get that, that's great. I'm happy for you. But I care. I care about my life. I care about being protected. <laughs> my life and my kids' lives and my friends' and family's lives mean more to me than saving a few dollars. That's exactly it. Ah! 
I dare you to tell me to calm down right now. <laughs> My fellow Americans and autists who voted for Trump, it's your boy Dank Brandon here. I want to take a moment to congratulate the DNC on losing another election to Donald Trump. You replaced me with a candidate who has the same likability as Greasy, hobo taint and expected to win, and they say I'm the retarded one. The Democrats said that I was too old, that I was too slow, that I was a joke. Well, here's a joke for you. What do Willie Brown and the 2024 presidential election have in common? Kamala Harris blew both of them. I shouldn't have said that. But seriously, I mean, first Hillary loses to Donald and now Kamala. This man has beaten more women than Doug Emhoff. Anyways, congrats on losing to Hitler again. I hope he locked you all up this time. Thank Brandon out.